Praise the Lord. Hey, you made it through uh, Monday. You exercised the dominion of God in your life. We pray uh, you begin to see manifestations of signs and wonders around you and God's great glory to, again, what he's spoken over you to make that happen. You know, in this time, we're going into this whole week session about the dominion of God, but there are different expressions of that dominion. And today we're going to talk about uh, the things that are new, all right? Accepting the new things of God. Sometimes we get tied down to uh, old ways, old songs, uh, and we get into a place that we call a safe place, okay? This place where we are comfortable in doing this. And comfortable uh, areas of life are fine in some times and seasons or whatever, but when God says, when he prophetically speaks that he's doing new things, then new things uh, are the things that are coming. And you have to expect new expressions, okay, of the Lord. Uh, in the Old Testament, he was expressed as a prophetic word in the Garden of Eden, okay? Uh, he was expressed as uh, a cloud during the day, fire by night. He was expressed. Okay, and when I say expressions, these are, these are things that you and I can, can physically see or emotionally take in. He was expressed, okay, uh, in the wilderness as water out of a rock, okay? He was expressed uh, uh, on the cross as Savior. Out of the tomb, he was expressed as Resurrector. He, many expressions by the Holy Spirit. He has expressions. It says the fruit of the spirit, which is love. And then love has eight other expressions, joy, peace, long suffering. All those things come out of love. Okay. Cause God is love. The spirit of God is love. So God has many expressions. Okay. And when he says something that, you know, prophetically, as he spoke to us last year, he's doing a new thing. Then you as a Christian person, if God speaks that to you and in your life, or in the prophetic season that you're in, you have to prepare yourself to understand that just because you see something doesn't mean that God's not in it. Just because there's something that's new does not mean that God's not in it, okay? Because we can, again, get comfortable. We get so familiar with things and people that we don't expect new things, okay? This is what the Lord says about it in the book of Isaiah, chapter 43. He says, remember, verse 18, remember you not the former things, all right? Neither consider the things of old, all right? In other words, things are going to come that are going to be different, and you have to prepare yourself. When Jesus came, he wasn't in the package that the Pharisees and everybody thought he should have been in. He came in a little manger, okay? He even entered into Jerusalem riding a donkey, okay? Okay? That was not the package that they were expecting, okay? What they were expecting was what they had read about his glory and his power and, you know, and his, and his kingdom and all those things. But they didn't expect him to come the way he came. But yet God was there, all right? And there are things that happen around you every day that you probably don't even expect that God's in those things. But God's in different expressions of life to show you and I, to help us to get to different places in life because we are complicated people, okay? Born again, we have the pass through the blood and the body of Jesus to heaven, and yet we have this body to contend with every day. We are complicated people. And sometimes we can complicate our own selves by not focusing on the prophetic words that God speak to us and the things that are written here about, you know, how to live and whatever, uh, even in the last days that we live in, okay? He said that there are going to be prophecies and dreams. There are going to be uh, dynamics of the, the Spirit of God, dimensions that are going to be released that we're going to walk in. Well, if you're still expecting God to, you know, be there when you're crying or you, when you're singing, come by here, Lord, come by here, or, or when you are doing the same thing you've done for the last 20 years and whatever, uh, I can tell you right now, faith is not in the past. Faith is always reaching forward to bring us from this place where we are empty or insufficient into a place of fullness. 
See, faith is given to us to add to our life the things that are needed. Okay, so as we walk by faith and believe for new things, even in these days when we look at the way the world is, don't you know that there are new things coming? <laughs> this is an old thing passing away. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. This is an old thing, and this old thing's passing away, and God wants us to expect the new thing that's coming. What is that new thing coming? It's going to be a world of a society of free men and women that are free from sin, all right? that are going to be reign and rule by the authority of God's word and presence, okay? And so this old natural is going to pass away. So prepare yourself for new, okay? There, there are many scriptures or there are many expressions, again, when God's talking about new or he shows us new, all right? When John saw Jesus on the Isle of Patmos, he did not see Jesus the way he saw Jesus when he walked in Jerusalem, Okay? He did not see him, okay? He did not see him as the, the one who he was sitting there at the cross, looking up at the cross and saw him hanging on the cross. He didn't even see Jesus at that time on the Isle of Patmos as he saw him after the resurrection when they saw him several times, sat down and ate with him several times, talked with him. John even got up and followed Jesus and Peter as Jesus was talking to Peter, you know, uh, uh, about, his, about his life and the, and the extension of things that were going to come. But on the Isle of Patmos, when he was in the spirit, see, she saw him differently. See, new things. And so the anointing that God has within you is available for new things. Okay? It will accept new things because these things come out of the spirit realm. Okay? And so the acceptance is there. But understanding is the thing that blocks us from receiving the new things. And so qualify your understanding as you do with people when you give. You know, when you give to certain people, they need to qualify before you give your precious seed, all right, to, to people for this or that. And when I say your seed, I'm talking about your time. I'm talking about your love. I'm talking about energy. I'm just talking about anything about you that you sow towards somebody else. They should qualify for it before you just throw it out there, okay? And so Make your understanding qualified, positioned to receive from the Lord God the new things. And watch God begin to open up a whole new life for you that you, you've never even dreamed that was possible for you and your family. Amen? Read the scripture. Get some understanding of it. Again, use some of the illustrations of seeing the different expressions of the Lord Jesus Christ from, again, his prophetic speak, speaking in the garden when God said he was going to come and bruise the head of the enemy from that time all the way to the end of the book of Revelation. Look at the different expressions because every expression carries with it a, a, a bundle, a multitude of resources that are different, and yet it's the same ultimate God. Unlimited, blessed, and highly favored. Amen? God bless you. We'll see you Wednesday morning.